Sunday morning, coming towards lunchtime, NHS Hack Day in Cardiff 2018. I am here with David Miller, who has been to 19, all 19 NHS Hack yeah. Days, working and supporting them through Open Health Care and Open Health Works and getting all going. Yeah. So, why have you come to 19 NHS Hack Days and keep doing it? Well, I'm just a sucker for punishment. <laughs> <laughs> um, th they're really good fun uh, and they're all different and the the event changes over time yeah right? so yesterday when we took a straw poll I reckon that maybe 60% of the people here hadn't been to one of these before which is great which means that you get the fresh mm -hmm. ideas and the fresh enthusiasm um, it's nice to have a bit of continuity there mm -hmm. so you can have some some shared experiences and some shared culture but it always gives you something to go home having just shifted the way you think about things a little bit mm -hmm. so I think one of the one of my favorite moments of this one has been just sitting next to somebody kind of going through reading a thing that I'd written and telling me what they were thinking which I had never even considered and like giving me that external perspective. For so what kind of thing was it? What was that actually about? It was some documentation for a project that oh, okay. is in my, back in my, my work life. Yeah. So today, so at this event, I've not been doing a, a project here because my, my project got kind of, I, the thing that I pitched uh, was asking for some help and support with trying to find good ways to do documentation around a particular kind of technology thing in, in, in health and it was so successful that somebody came up and said we can help you with that and can Straight I just away. send you the things within kind of 10 minutes and so I didn't really have to do the thing so I've been able to float around and talk to people and, yeah, and, and join us a bit Brilliant. so yeah I was doing a, it was a, uh, a thing for work and it was just having somebody kind of read over the yeah, um, so you get this giving a, a perspective that I wouldn't get normally because it's someone coming from a fresh context Brilliant. So you were sort of saying you were saying all the events are different and yeah. they always change. This is the fifth one we've done in Cardiff, but each year it's always a little bit different. Kind yeah. of same, and, same and different. In general, what do you think? Is there any kind of like trends and what's going on and how it's changing? Um, I think uh, from a so there are interesting trends that kind of mm -hmm. start to happen too. You see this, um, you see like a delayed technology hype cycle thing mm -hmm. trending through the events. So as the tools available to people improve, the type of projects that you see people like being able to do change, mm -hmm. improve. Like we have seen machine learning and AI and VR suddenly go from very niche things which are very mm -hmm. hard to like over the period that we've been doing these yeah. the tooling has matured yeah so it means that people are able to rock up and do something in the space of like a very small hack day yeah because there's previously definitely, there's definitely now nearly every hack day has a few data projects kind of at them while right. at the start we wanted to see those and there were some so at the start there were there were data projects but it was yeah. the, so like the classic hack day data project is i got some I got some data from somewhere, it was a spreadsheet, and then I drew a map and put a pin in it, yeah. which is great, which is fun. Yeah. That was like, for a long time, that was the thing that was easy to do and you would definitely get it done in the weekend. Yeah. But we start to see machine learning algorithms yeah. come and mature to a point where the knowledge has seeped out, people mm -hmm. are trying to, keen to, to do it. So that's, that's kind of, that, that's fun. And it's interesting to see where those experiments go with people. Um, and you very often see people coming and going, I have been looking for an excuse to learn that thing. Yeah. Or to play with it for the first time. Yeah. And it go and it turns out there's lots of spaces in health where we have these, you know, interesting problems to go mm -hmm. and play with. Mm -hmm. There is lots of data in health. Turns out that A and E's are problematic and like there are issues there and lots of stuff happens and mm -hmm. it's lot interesting places. And like you can have the the joined up sense of uh, feeling that what you're doing is about something. Yes, yes. Right, so I've got some data and I'm doing 
it is for a certain class of person more interesting to try and think about ways to help A and E because of the immediate like yeah, helping the person in need than can I use these techniques to improve the way Netflix recommends me films? Yes. <laughs> which is fine, which is a laugh. Yeah. It's difficult, it takes forever. Yeah. Yeah. But it helps in a different kind of way. Yeah, and, and that's motivates you people get people, yeah, we get a real, we've got, had some people that have came to Hack Days multiple times who do not do anything working in health at all, but they just yeah. come along because they want to get doing something different and trying something out. People try out different roles. Somebody was telling me that they were, came along last year and then yeah. talked to some people and actually changed their job, <laughs> became a, a developer. Yeah, happens. They, we get... The, this this story happens quite a lot. So yeah. I have said, yeah. Um, on occasion, I think that might be the thing that is the kind of the lasting legacy at times. Mm -hmm. Because when you go around to events which are like closer to this, around the mm -hmm. edge outside, elsewhere in the the health IT mm -hmm. system, it turns out there are very often people who are there because their first entry point into that was something like this. Uh, and almost like very frequently, I will meet people who will like tell a story a bit like that, yes. which is which is great because there is no shortage of work to be done in that space. No, no, we need to get all the people that we can um, coming to help us. <laughs> absolutely. And you get the the thing of um, one of the things that's interesting about this event that is not necessarily true of many of mm -hmm. all hack days mm -hmm. is that there are there has always been an actual. Uh, diversity of backgrounds and occupations in every yeah. in every team. So, rather there is um, rather than being people come as a tribe mm -hmm. and hi we are six data people or six mm -hmm. program and we're doing a thing together mm -hmm. and we talk to people who understand exactly where we're coming mm -hmm. from. You almost always see projects which include people having to figure out and do a translation thing yes and to figure out yes. where we are from the first time and that's like that's the bit where like right so i think that's important because i think that multidisciplinary teams are a really good thing right? yeah you can say that but like it's only at things like this where people are forced to come together that you see it happening and you see those conversations changing people's opinions and perspectives and that's yeah. actually quite hard yeah and it's partly that so the the health thing changes that mm -hmm. because it turns out that your experience as a GP is so utterly alien to me having only sat on the other side as a yeah. patient. Yeah. I cannot work it out from first principles. Yeah. I need to ask you. Yeah. I need to talk to you. I need to practice doing some empathy. Yeah. That's how I understand what it is that you're talking about in the yeah. first place. And that's like a really nice thing. That's where a lot of the, the sense of community and the sense of yeah. learning comes from. The, the things that surprise people. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. I think. So I don't, I don't, we don't get any sense that we need to, <laughs> that our work, you know, there's no value out of this anymore. We've got it all done. Not at all. I think it feels like it's maturing and changing and we'll keep at it. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'll see you next year. You'll see you next year. Thank you very much, David. Oh, you're welcome. Great. Buy the book.